Hello everyone, Adi Simeon, Cold World Banker. Uh, today I want to talk to you again about home appreciation percentages uh, because I want you to understand what five years of home appreciation means and hopefully make you understand if it's okay for you to stay and wait and see what happens since uh, some analysts are saying that the market is it's starting to depreciate or um, slow down a little bit. What happened in the past was being uh, predicted by some of these uh, big uh, analysts and big companies that are tracking the market and see for yourself and take a decision if it's time to wait or it's time to still pull the trigger, go ahead and sell your home and purchase a better home or you know if you don't have a house just go ahead and and buy now or wait a little bit later and see what happens. So um, there's this company Core Logic that has this um, uh, home price index report that uh, was just released and they said what happened in the past five years from 2013 to 2018 with home uh, appreciations uh, prices. And I have a I have a graph here that I want to show you. So you can see what happened. It's based on uh, lower prices, uh, low to middle prices, middle to moderate, and high prices. So on the low price ranges, uh, homes appreciated by 48% in the past five years, and the high price homes appreciated by 25% in the past five years. That's that's a big appreciation, almost 50% on the lower prices, and we're talking probably 750 and under. Um, that prices appreciated by 48% in five years. Is it worth waiting? Is it worth what happens if you would have bought five years ago? So um, based on that, where what are we expecting the prices to go? So we don't know. We don't have a crystal ball. So we look we look at. Uh, at companies that are tracking the market. There is this company called uh, Pulsomatic, Pulsonomics, Pulsonomics, that they also have a home price expe expectation survey, um, and all, they do this every quarter. And what happened with them in uh, the third quarter of 2014, they predicted that in the uh, in the next five years, the market will go up by 20%. Uh, there was a more optimistic group in that survey of, and that, that survey, it's a national 100 um, panel of economics, uh, economists, uh, real estate experts, uh, investment strategists. So it's important people that took part of that survey and they said in uh, the third quarter of 2014 that the prices will appreciate by 20%. Uh, there were some of them that were more optimistic and they said 28%. And then, then there were some of them that actually said the market will uh, increase by 11% only. So look what happened. We have 45% and then we have 25%, 48% in a lower price range and 25% in a higher price range if you do some kind of a, uh, an average will come up in, a, in the 35% um, I would say. We had, an, uh, based on other reports, 6.2% uh, increases in prices in the past six years. That's what other reports are saying. So it's kind of in the same ballpark, 40-some uh, percent. So uh, where, where are the prices headed in the next five years what's going to happen what what is it so uh, the same report from pulse nomics uh, um, they they um, they said that the prices are set to be they, they did the same report and they just re, uh, released it um, recently and they said that based on what this 100 economists and real estate um, uh, very important people and uh, financial strategists, they said that the market in the next five years will appreciate by 20%. That's about 4% a year, and that's what I've been talking before. A normal market should be appreciating anywhere between 2 to 4, 2 to 3% a year, 
and that's what these people are saying 20 percent some of their more optimistic uh, uh, in the group they said about 31 percent while some of the most pessimistic says nine percent even nine percent if you think about it um, divided by five years you know you're still seeing a good increase in prices in the next five years so um, that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing based on what all these reports are saying uh, so I wanted to bring it over to you now every day more and more homeowners are seeing uh, a lot more equity on their homes when they're looking at how much the house is worth now how much they bought it for their equity is stop that is a phone call um, so they're seeing their equity going up and some of them are seeing their equity even greater than before the the recession in 2008 so if you if you're wondering if you if you have enough equity to sell and get a good down payment for your next home uh, your dream home give me a call let me let me tell you what your house is worth and I and we together can decide if it's a, if it's the right time for you to go ahead and make the move um, again if you're looking to buy give me a call and I'll sit down with you and I'll, I'll explain you what's going on in the marketplace and if it is worth waiting or if it is worth uh, pulling the trigger now rates are going up uh, definitely uh, the feds are saying that they may be raising it again uh, once or twice this year the more they go up the less house you're going to be able to buy so um, if you wait time goes by you you pay in the landlord's uh, mortgage instead of paying for your own so is it a good time to buy let's sit down and I'll go over all the facts again Adi Simeon Coldwell Banker talk to you all soon have a good day now Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please click the link below and subscribe to my channel. I cannot wait to watch your comments. And if you have a particular subject that you want me to cover, please comment in the section below. Thank you.